go. Let's okay. go. Okay. Mine bad. It was a seventy. Three, six, nine. Nah, it's just race fine. Move and sing it to me this one more time. Get so, get so, get so. Get so. This isn't what we normally play. I know. It's a long. There's a lot of. I got a lot of music <laughs> in the sound effects section, and sometimes this is it. Hold on. I just stop that before we get it's copyright. Friday. So, hey, this everybody. Welcome we to uh, Much Love. Hey, Nothing. there it is. J-Man just Welcome. totally flopped this morning. Welcome. The king of live broadcasts had to reboot his computer <coughs> about five minutes before the start. So, actually, Instagram's up there. And here. All right, I mean, <laughs> here's morning. just, uh, let, let's give him a teachable moment because let's start, yep. start off with that. Uh, we were about 12. Jeffrey was actually early. I'll give him credit. He was earlier. I'm usually than early. You. Well, you were earlier than usual. Early for you is usually like yeah. 10 minutes prior. So you, you were on like 15, 16 minutes before. Yep. yep. And he's like, oh, we're getting an echo. So he's going to, he was going to leave and then come back, which usually can solve those kinds of problems. But mm -hmm. then <laughs> I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to close down the software and then restart my computer. Cause maybe that's the problem. And then the software didn't want to open back up. And he's like, come on, it's 1229. And I'm like, I know. But it's it, there's nothing like live live video because it's like nobody Prizes. knows how quickly two minutes can go when it's like, we got two minutes. Oh, we got two yeah. minutes to go. Two, 30 seconds. Ha! Ah! It gets, but you know, we're. And all of a sudden clicking is rejoin, 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 rejoin. And it's just and, not working. And you know, on the surface, we are calm, cool, and collective. Collective, calm, cool. Holy do we have a sponsor yet? It's and it, and like their their logo's not that visible on the cup. I'm really surprised. Well, yeah, I know. Actually, if you're using black coffee, and it is very visible. But who does that? Not me. All right. So what up? We got what My, up to carry? Jeff, Rose? your hair looks on point today. Like it doesn't look on point all the time. Okay. <laughs> Billy from okay. Beantown, what's up? Thank you. I appreciate that. See, I had a discussion with Billy. Uh, she's rebranding, did a new logo. If you heard B-Town, yeah, where would you think B-Town would you think Boston? Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Okay. Wait. This is every time I'm right. Yeah. I hear that a lot. Because B-Town sounds very similar to Beantown. And when you hear B-Town, you always think of Beantown, and then you think of Boston. <clears throat> I'm sorry. Here, I'm going to move you up so you're not shorter than me. Ooh. That's like if someone says, um, I'm going to the city. <clears throat> I think we talked about this, didn't we? If someone says, I'm going to the city, yeah, automatically do. it's New York City. There's and only most one city, places, baby. <clears throat> excuse me. Most places, when they say they're going to the city, they really mean New York City. Because if you're going to San Francisco, you say, I'm going to San Francisco. If you're going to L.A., you say, I'm going to L.A. If you're going to Chicago, you say, I'm going to downtown Chicago. Chai so town, I think maybe. that, well, whatever it happens, I think that B town, it, it just happens somebody, to be somebody look at you guys. You're on, you're really, there's a bunch of you watching. Could you just talk oh, Greg from we get long? Oh, Greg. Yeah. Greg from Staten Island. Staten Island. Greg, up, Greg? Sokol. So cool. See, yeah, just tell us where Greg's you're from. So cool. more than I like think. that. I like See, that. Chris automatically, automatically it's Manhattan. Now, Chris, where are you from? She's from Westchester. She knows. Yep. Well, Yep, automatically Manhattan. Chris, it's just one Tina. of those things. So, how about we talk about that? Let's let's because we really didn't have. Let Let's talk about branding. Oh, we got Ann Carter in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Yes, we can talk about branding. Minneapolis, Michigan. Um, yeah. So on Instagram, good. let us know where you're from too, as we're doing both Instagram and Facebook. Bronxville, Westchester, cool. It's like let, let's let's talk about branding because we have much to say about nothing. You know that's right, baby. Finally, so, you guys right? are opening up. This is so much. See, when you talk to us, we feel the love and I we know. get happy. Thank you so much. <clears throat> so let's talk about branding. Okay. Because, you know, I think, and I'll start with this. We get, when we have new agents that get hired, are you eating something again? Are you chewing gum during the podcast slash video cast? No. Haven't no. we had this conversation before? Yes, mom. Yes, mother. Uh, I was eating oh an goodness. almond. I had a, an almond or almond, depending on how you say it. And it looked tasty, so I had to he's eat it. Just, he's just got to eat there. So <clears throat> we always have this like, 
especially when we hire, because because where, for those of you who know me, I work for Douglas Allen Real Estate. I'm the SVP of Learning and Development, and we're a big company of hey, brand yourself within the brand, and we we promote that, we support it huge. Right. Um, I know a lot of brokerages don't like doing that, but we allow you to do it within the framework of your licensing laws, etc. Yeah. <clears throat> However, we have um, new agents that start that the first thing they want to do, and brand new. The first thing they want to do is, oh, I want to get a logo designed. And they contact marketing and say, oh, I want a logo designed. And it's like, hey, you haven't even done a deal yet. So let's talk about that branding. To me, your branding should always be within the corporate brand. Like same colors, same fonts, within reason. Okay. Not like, hey, like we have our we have our element blue, which is that tealish color, which is ours. It's especially a color just for us. And then we have a blue black and we have a, 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 a gray. So like, I wouldn't go if our colors are that teal, the blue black, would you go with a red? Like that's when it starts to lose me. When agents say, I want to brand myself and I want to brand it totally outside of the company. And I'm going to yeah. use like, oh, I don't like the DE teal logo. Listen, our logo has been the same for over 110 years, like legitimately. <clears throat> Why? That's like saying I work for Coca Cola, but I don't want to use the Coca Cola logo. Yeah, I mean, I, it's everybody knows that that C that goes like that, and like I don't like, want it's, that in my. It's, it's yeah. like the Nike the Nike swoosh 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 not a swish swoosh swoosh it's, swoosh. I think is it's a swoosh, swoosh or is it swish swoosh. I think it's a swoosh like the Nike swoosh. If we send, I'm going to design a Nike <laughs> shoe. What? What are you laughing at? I just laughing. At I want to. I want to design the night. I want a night. I'm going to design a Nike shoe, but I'm not going to use that. No, like literally, Louis Vuitton and Nike do every couple of years, and I just got an email about this. They do a Louis you, Vuitton Nike. You would, you would get that email. No, I, I love. I, I I do. I love it. Are you I wearing Louis Vuitton me personally? right now? Be honest. No, I'm wearing a Louis watch and a Louis bracelet, but that's about it. So anyway, I'm wearing... so. Louis J Man Manan, <laughs> Louis, which is a huge brand, they say, "Hey, we're going to collaborate J with Nike. We're going to do something with Manan. Nike." They start the that. Nike swoosh on the side. So I think a lot when it comes to branding, people first of all think too much about it, put too yeah. much thought into it. When initially they should be relying or laying on the company brand. Yeah, no, I, I think there's a lot of validity to that because I was driving past somebody's sign the other day and they're with a, uh, I'm not going to mention any companies, but it's a company that their color is red. You know, their signs, they're red. And then like I drive by and, and it was like a like a dark, you know, like that gray that's very popular now but that's on every yep. freaking kitchen floor. <laughs> yep. every, it's everywhere in a flip house. It's that color gray, the sign. And I'm like, damn, I thought John Doe was with this other company. Mm -hmm. And I slowed down and I go, oh, he is. Just, he, he, he changed all his sign, his everything, and then in smaller, it's XYZ Realty. Still still the same company, just not within the, the yeah. color scheme. <clears throat> and, and like, this is the thing, like, we have some, the people you see on TV that are on those reality mm -hmm. shows work for Douglas Elliman. Well, oh, they, they no. do. Mm -hmm. And yeah. not, not you, not your hundred thousand dollar listing show. Is in the other hey, listing show. That's a good. I love affordability in my show. There's better Listen, value. I loved when you did the hundred thousand dollar <laughs> listing show, but like even them, they brand themselves like Eklund Gomes at Douglas Elliman, Altman Brothers at Douglas Elliman. Like Stop they're pointing. in. Your I'm sorry. They're in. <laughs> they're incorporating the brand, yeah. but I see a lot of agents who say, you know what, I'm gonna brand myself. Why your brokerage, if you work for a name band brokerage, not, not a little mom and pop to maybe differently, spends a lot of money in smaller markets. Oh, well, absolutely. Known mom. And, <clears throat> um, yeah. If you're a known mom and pop, like you've been in that area for 30 years, mm -hmm. then why would you want to brand outside of your corporate brand or your, or your brokerage brand? I think the two should be included. And I think a lot of people spend too much time trying to figure out, oh, and I want a logo, and I want this, and I want that, and I want this color, and which font is better, and post on Facebook, which do you like better, one, two, three, or four? Yeah. Like, really? Really? Uh -huh. So let's start, let, let's have this conversation. When 
Yeah. When you want to brand yourself, where do you start out? So I, where I would start, where I did start, mm -hmm. where I do start is what do I want to be known for? When somebody Absolutely. thinks about me and my I, business, what do I want to be known for? I'm going to take or it back X. even a little bit further to that, to that, but I'm taking it back a little further. People say, I want to build my brand. I want a new logo. I want this. I want that. I want to do my branding. And I'll ask them, do you have a mission statement? Do you have a vision statement? And they're like, no. Guess what? Until you know what your vision is, until you know what your mission statement is, and what you, mm -hmm. what you said, what you want to be known to the consumer for, and your right. motto, and those types of things, you shouldn't be thinking about branding. Because if you don't know what your mission is, you don't know what your vision is, it's an indubitably. Like to me, that's the first step. What do I indubitably? What do I want the consumer to know me as? That's gonna what be the shirt. What do I want? I'm not even gonna do a cartoon. Oh, I would, I would gonna... absolutely wear that shirt. Indubitably. So to me is, what do I want the consumer to know me for? Like when you look at again luxury company, if you look at luxury brands, they're clean, crisp logos. So, and, and they're generally historic logos. It doesn't, Nike doesn't change their logo all the time. It's the logo and that's what it is. Apple doesn't change their logo. Louis Vuitton doesn't change their logo. Piaget, whatever, whatever it happens to be. Mercedes doesn't change their logo. So what do you want the consumer to think of when you see that logo? Or when J-Man walks off screen? Where'd you go? Uh, I, I am sorry, folks, but it is a disorder. Uh, it's called ADHD. And I'm easily distracted. Uh, I was Squirrel. just look. I was looking Squirrel. at my lights, and I was like, and then I went like this. If you saw me do that earlier, I was trying to Shadows. see which side of my f face the light was brighter, and so I was trying to. <laughs> that's what I was doing. So I was trying to fix that. Lighting is like a. It will always be like a thing. I don't know about for you. Yeah. Not to derail us, because that's my job, but. Um, it's a constant struggle. The days it stays yeah. that it's perfect, and especially when you have a desk that goes up and down, and I have my lights attached to the side of the desk, mm. so they, they go up and down with the desk. Um, so anywho, <clears throat> back on track, because that's my job. Yeah. <clears throat> so to me, that's the first thing, is like, what's my vision, what's my mission? Squirrel, yes. What's my vision, what's my mission? And I think starting there with, what do I want to be known for? Do I want to be, do I want... Again, always within the brand. Do I want to be that knows that local mom and pop that I've been there for 30 years is going to be a totally different logo than, hey, I'm that tech savvy or, hey, I'm that luxury high end. They're all going to be different logos. So I, I think you have to think about as you walk off screen again, I think you have to think about what what my logos, what your logo is going to be. See, now when I think, when I see that automatically, you know what the first thing I thought of is Superman. Thank you. That's the point. You're a real and, estate and superhero. This, and this wasn't a conversation me and him had. So, again, that that made instantly, that's what I thought of Superman. So, no one said in copyright violations for, you know, that J-Man is using a Superman logo and his uh, things. Anyway. <clears throat> Yeah, I'll put it with the rest <laughs> of the cease and desist orders that I get. <laughs> Please don't say that. Um, Just so that would be the first thought is what do I what do I want the consumer to think of when, when they see that logo? What's my mission? What's my what what's my vision? Is it my logo is gonna be totally different if I'm focusing on what may be totally different if I'm focusing on that first time home buyer versus that move up buyer versus that vacation. Because if I'm selling homes on a lake and it's vacation properties, and that's what people are buying them for, it's going to be a totally different branding for myself than if I'm dealing with apartments in New York City or you know houses up on the hill in in, in Hollywood. Yeah, I was waiting for you to contribute at this point. <laughs> well, I was, I was, I can give kind of a, a my origin story, if you will. I, hey, I left for, I, I left from one brokerage, big brokerage, seventy hundred plus agents had a big market share in our area, but locally owned, uh, privately owned brokerage, and I left for, an, and they, they were big about the company brand, 
right? I, and I probably didn't leave for a year because I thought if I left, there was no way I could survive. They had me in like drinking the Kool-Aid that much. And, and finally, when I left, the broker that I, I went to said, okay, let me help you build your personal brand. And he said to me, what do you want to be known for? And at the, this was 2008, folks. Great time to make a move. Good time to make a move. Uh, <laughs> and, and at the time, right, we had foreclosures. We had short sales. We had, you know, all, all these crazy things that were going on in the real estate market. And I said, I want to be known as the real estate superhero. Like, if your home's facing foreclosure, if you're, you think there's no way... Nah, I want to come in, or you can't sell your house, right? I can come in, I can remarket it, I can reposition it on, mm -hmm. as your real estate superhero. So that that's where my logo, my brand came from. And the J man, my first first letter J and the last man, came uh, from the fact that I couldn't have my own name as my URL anymore because the previous company had kept it. <clears throat> they registered it and kept it and wouldn't release it and told me, well, go ahead and sue us. And I was like, I'm just a guy. <laughs> not a, you're a big company. And, uh, yeah, so and you know what? Was, there so was one. That's what happened. Let's history. talk about that. So there's a difference between, hey, if I switch companies, I can't because of that. You know, it's different. You know, to me, That's I believe people do mindset. business with you because mm -hmm. of you. However, I believe agents do the amount of business that they do, at least our agents, my agents do the amount of business they do, is because of the support that we provide them. And which is totally different than I'm not going to leave a brand because they're the number one in the area and I'm not going gonna to go here because they're number two or three and I don't want to like not work for the number one or, hey, I'm not leaving this company because this company supports me. Like, so that, right. those, yeah, those, are different those, things. Those, are, those are two different Absolutely. things because there are a lot of agents that, listen, if you had to design your own marketing and have your own marketing team and all oh that to gosh. do it, it that. would cost you more money than you know you have right. worth this. But I love when people say, "Well, Jeff, I'm going to become a broker and start my own brokerage." I'm like, "Why? Yeah, why would you want that?" Yeah. First of all, I get brokerage. Asked that at least the first word is month. broke. The first word yeah. is broke. First word, yeah. I became a broker and I was broker and broker. Uh, yeah. But it's like. People ask me that all the time as I travel, and they're like, well, you know so much about real estate, and da, 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 and you have your associate broker license, and, and I go, I know so much about real estate, that's why I don't want to be a broker. There is mm -hmm. a lot of vicarious liability there, folks. Mm -hmm. You're responsible for, imagine if you're responsible for everything I said all the time. <laughs> You'd be so, fine. So, hey, put up, I, put up Reese's, think. put up Reese Stewart, put up there. I want to match this. So use the comedy brand to figure out your niche and what you know for. Absolutely. So use primarily the company brand until you find I out what you're known Reese's for and what your niche is. I love cowboy hat, to be honest. So do I. He's, However, it's in Florida. I always have an issue when I when I look at someone's logo, when I look at someone's marketing, and I don't know what company they work for. Like, it could be you know the Jeffrey Stanton team at Douglas Elliman, you know the uh, J Man team at Remax, whatever it happens to be. But to me, the corporate brand should always be included in there because it lets people know who you work for. Well, and way too many and depending agents, on your state to be compliant, you have to have it in yeah. there, right? Yep. Depending on your state, most states are the Monero team most at states. XYZ Realty, unless it's yeah. your full name team. Yeah, most states. And also, by the way, I want to, I want to disclose this. Every state has different regulations as right. far as... Can I use the word group? Can I use the word real estate? Most states right. only allow you to word, use the word team. team. They don't allow you to use the word group. You know, yeah, the we, name yeah, of the associate broker kind of has to be in the name of the team. There's a whole bunch of rules there. So, and I don't even want to talk about that. Because yeah. every single state is going to be differently. So, correct. Use the company brand. Lean on the company brand. And then develop, hey, what's my niche? Stop eating. What's my niche? What's my market? What do I want the consumer to know about me? But don't disregard the company brand. Right. Because, Jamin, how many times do you see a, uh, an agent branding as a team or a logo and you're like, oh, they must have their own brokerage. Right. And you're like, All the time. oh, no, they work for ABC XYZ. Like, why wouldn't you want the world to know what company you work for? Dude, your bottle is half green screened. I don't like do that again. I can see the war. <laughs> it's actually really cool. It is cool. 
All these cool special effects that we do, folks. So, and then that branding has to go over to everything you do. Everything. Like, everything. everything. Your <clears throat> business cards, and again, within the framework of the law on your licensing agency, your business cards, your websites, your, you know, your, your flyers, your internet marketing, whatever it happens to be, has to go through everything. You know, it has to be the same. So if I'm doing this branding, what is this going to look like on these colors? What is it going to look like on this background? What is my logo going to look like when the person viewing my email that my logo's in is viewing it on dark mode on an Android phone? Changes it totally. Yeah. That's Changes true. it totally. Because you have a black, you have a dark gray logo with just a little white around. I look at my Android phone and I'm, I run in dark mode. I'm looking like, is that what that logo looks like? Well, first of all, what's with the dark mode? Saves the Second battery. Second of all, saves the battery. What's with the Android? I'm an Android person. Go iPhone. Go iPhone. Except for I'm a Mac, I'm a Mac person when it comes to computers. Uh, <clears throat> sorry. I just realized that when I look on Instagram, your your Superman is hanging over your mic. I just realized that. <laughs> it's here. In the, it's cool. here too, behind the thing. Oh yeah, I see it there. <laughs> um, so, to me, a lot of thought has to go into, and honestly, like, it's not. Oh, I'm going to go on Fiverr and pay someone to make me a logo. Oh boy, did I have a like, bad experience about that yesterday. Why what happened? But, go ahead. No, I'll let you finish, and then I'll talk about it. No, to me, it shouldn't be like, hey, I'm going to go on Fiverr. I'm going to have my niece or nephew or my cousin make me a logo. To me, either go to your marketing department if your company has one. Again, we, with the, I'm, I'm, our marketing department gets phone calls like that all the time. Hey, I want to rebrand myself. I'm moving to this market. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. And they'll sit down there with, with the marketing team and literally they'll plan out the approach, which is the way it should be done. So people are like, hey, I want my own logo but they don't have a marketing team to actually go over saying, hey, this is what's gonna look like here, this is what's gonna look like there, this is what's gonna look like if it's skewed. And it's not only your logo, it's what fonts are you gonna use? Because oh, yeah. is it a website font? Mm -hmm. Is your font in your logo, so is it gonna be a weird, over. yeah, it's gonna, so there's a lot of thought that has to go behind it instead of, hey, I wanna be, I wanna be my own brand. You are your own brand. You don't necessarily need your own logo to be your own brand. Well, and let's talk about that because I think that's important. Like, beyond that, let's say you get the logo and you do all the things and it's great, but you got to live it, right? I, I, that's where I feel like some people totally miss the boat. You got to live the brand. Like, as a speaker, I provide better service to the mastery of today's technology. Every time you see me, you're going to be, you see me with some, I might have a hat on with an LED screen going across it. I might have a mask on, nice uh, my LED name screen. badge up. Oh, I mean, it's, it's, His fur people coat. are always like, oh my God, I, I got the QR code on this, my, my cool, really plastic, um, they're really plastic business cards. Or his fur coat. Or the fur coat. Well, the, it, <clears throat> talk about that. I know you love it secretly. I don't mind your fur coat at all. I really don't. I may give you a little crap over it, but I, I honestly don't mind your fur coat. And let, so let's even talk about this. Let's talk about like business cards for a second. So I'd love this. Right in the chat, either if you're on Instagram or you're on Facebook, do you have your photo on your business card? Just I just I don't even want to discuss this yet. Just write in the chat if you have your photo on your business card, either the chat on Instagram or the chat on Facebook. So Jamin, what percentage of real estate agents do you think have their photo on their business card? Oh man, this is going to be another imaginary percentage, but yeah, absolutely imaginary percentage. Seventy-eight percent. Yeah, I was going to say like eighty or ninety percent. Yeah. Okay. I was. I was trying to. I was trying to go low. I thought you actually knew the number. I, I think no, no. it probably is. is cl I would think closer to ninety. Yeah, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't doubt it at all. Reese. Like, now Reese said he doesn't have his picture on. Reese, I would love to see your picture on a business card, man. I would do no, business see, with I don't. You just because of that hat. <clears throat> I'm telling I you, I love that hat. This is, Not everybody this can rock my, a cowboy hat. Reese has got this it. This is my theory. No, absolutely. You can absolutely rock that cowboy hat. So this is, this is my theory behind this. If a doctor handed you his business card and his photo was on it, would you think that was a little strange? Uh-huh. Like, t 
to me, it's a weird thing to, to, to have your photo on your business card and people are like, well, I want people to know me. I have never, ever, 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 besides when I first started out in the business, have had my photo on my business card. I worked for a company that required it. Literally what I did was I took a sticker, um, a gold sticker with a question mark and stuck it over my face on every single one of those. And people are like, oh, you don't have your photo on your business card. And my response is because he has his photo on his business, business card. But that's your speaker card, isn't it? Yeah, but I have yeah, it on my totally. real estate one. Okay, so now this is my thing. People's thoughts when they see something, when they see something, especially a photo or something like that, are always going to default to a negative. If there's any chance someone can think something negatively about you, they will. So when you have, oh, my branding, I have my photo on everything. When you're branding, you put your photo there. I get that photo. I get that card. I give it to, you know, if I'm married, I give it to my wife and say, hey, listen, I spoke to this. I spoke to this real estate agent. We should use her. And that photo on that business card, she's a perfect 10 model. Why do you want to use her? Why don't you use the old lady down the street? Or, uh, I'm just believing everything that works for not only real estate, but also social media and other things I involved in. Okay. Why do they get so, so big? That's so I don't strange. Know. So to me, having your photo on your business card is this. He's too old. She's too young. He's too white. He's too black. She's too Asian. She, he's Spanish. He's, you know, I don't like, he looks like my ex-husband. She looks like my ex-wife. I don't want to do business with him. To me, why have your photo on your business card? Oh, there's definitely an app for it, Carrie. What was it? Go ahead. After you're done, we'll address it. So to me, yeah, to me, I don't use business cards anymore either. So to me, it is like, why have your photo on everything? I, I, I don't, I don't get that. Like to me, I don't, listen, Jay, man, totally speak a world. Yes, we have our photos on things. So it's almost like our headshot. If we were an actor or actress or yeah. a thespian, I didn't use that word today. Thespian. <laughs> thespian. So that's different. I'm talking about real estate. Like why have okay. your photo there? as part of your brand. Like I understand you are your brand, but like what other the professional hand you a business card with their photo on it? Mortgage. Can you, anybody else besides mortgage people? Uh, title. Mm -hmm. So in essence, we are the only people who industry. consider ourselves professionals, industry who considers ourselves professionals that literally Uses our photos all over the place. It doesn't make sense to me. So, I'm on Jim, my signs. You have them on your signs? Yeah. Yeah. I would love um, to go around your town and just stick a stick a, a, a oh, bro, plastic listen, stick when, on when a mustache. I did a lot of investment properties. I every once in a while you get an upset tenant and I got to, I finally get a mustache. <laughs> I could finally grow a mustache. Because they go outside and go boop and draw one on me, but yeah, I have it on there. Uh, but here's here's because I we like to have we don't always have to have the same uh, viewpoint for everything, Absolutely. which is which is what we love about this. But it's when I have it on my signs, especially business cards. I guess not as much as it depends if they're prominently displayed places or whatever, uh, mm -hmm. so that when people see you in a, at events. But I know when I, I I've had them on my signs, and especially when I first started, I might have a listing like on a busy road, one mm -hmm. listing, not. 20 okay mm -hmm. <laughs> one listing and if people see me like at the supermarket or i see them at the mall or whatever they but when we had malls and <laughs> they would go when everything was in amazon I, yeah they would say i see your face everywhere and i'd mm -hmm. go yeah you know i'm in real estate just trying to do my thing absolutely so th and there I, is listen, like the impressions of uh, and depending I don't on your town like if i lived in new york city would that happen if i lived in the city would that happen to me as often with so many people not as often but it would happen eventually okay. somewhere some <clears> coffee <throat> so shop now this is my thing i never use my photo for real estate on <clears throat> on my business card and my signs and Are my you in the biggest witness protection program be honest no my biggest okay. competition had his photo on everything Signs, billboards, flyers, always his photo, always his photo was on there. <laughs> so I just, 
<laughs> I like that, Reese. We should just like jump in guy. with us more often. Yeah. He's, <clears throat> he's funny. So this is this is uh so this is the thing. So my biggest competition, and they would say, Jeff, you know what? We're also talking to Bob. Really? What why are you talking about? Well, he, we see his photo everywhere. You know, he's got that house down the street that he's listed. And I would say, hmm, so you're going to use Bob to list your house and pay him when he's advertising himself on your property. And they were like, what do you mean? So you're paying Bob to have his photo in front of your house. So is that for sale sign with his photo? Is that advertising your property or is that advertising him? Because I don't, because when I do my marketing, my marketing is about your property, not about me. And that really is a difference uh, between Well, you know, Mr. and Mrs. Jones, when they drive by and they see me, Bob, they're going to mm. know that your home is a premium product because that's the kind of service that Bob delivers. Absolutely. Right? I mean, so Bob, wants, so Bob wants to be known for his face. I'd rather be known for the outrageously happy you're going to be with the service and help that I provide you. That's the difference between me and Bob. Mm. You, can, you can spin it. And I tell you, yeah, I, I won a could, lot of lists. We could go tit for tat for this. This yeah. would be fun. I, I won this. a lot of deals because I would use that because he was my biggest competition. Absolutely, he was my biggest competition. Um, and someone else, you said, if people use the photos, yeah, please make sure it's an updated photo. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Aisha, for that one. Nothing worse than an old photo, okay? Nothing worse than you sit in my, I, you sit in my class for three hours on a Zoom and then I get a friend request from you on Facebook and I'm like, who this? Who this? New mm -hmm. phone, who this? And then it's like, oh, well, that's my, uh, you know, high school glamour shot. Looks great, right? Yeah. 40 years ago. And then when you show up for your yeah. listening appointment, you're going, surprise. This is what oh, I look like. Your daughter couldn't be here? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh it's man. a mom and daughter team? How cute. Like, How listen. cute. Update yeah. your photos. I mean, if you're going to use the photo as part of your marketing, your brand, at, le at least have them updated. Listen, that's what you look like. If you're so it's concerned that, hey, look. yeah, it's how you look. If you're so concerned with, hey, I've gotten older, you know, I don't want to update my photos, then guess what? Don't use a photo at all. If you're worried that you need, and please, please stop with the oh, glamour oh. shots. Stop with the glamour shots. Don't go to, don't go to the, don't, I'm going to, I'm going to date myself. Don't go to Sears in the mall and get your headshots done. Go, <laughs> <laughs> go to a professional photographer. Go to someone who specializes in business headshots. Yeah, absolutely. It's just. You see, you see how I lose the light as soon as I walk away from the table? Yep. I know that's going to drive you crazy. Don't square earlier. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> So what we okay. gonna say about we don't? I'm, Carrie said something, and then you said something, and you said we're gonna talk about it. Oh, about there's there's uh, a number of apps that you can use for for digital business cards. So th there's a couple of different ways to kind of network. But here's what I learned because I've had a digital business card for three years now. I was look. I'm as an early adapter. I'm always targeted for all of the cool shiny things. And I got one, and it was like a smart card that you, I could take the card and I touch it to your phone, and it transfers all of my information. I was so excited to use it at that first convention I went to, and I'm like, oh, let me give you my information. Oh, oh your, your NFC's not on. Let me grab your phone. Turn that on, because I got time for that, right? Or mm -hmm. they have an older phone that doesn't even have it. Now we're, 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 we're done. We're done. Yeah. I use, the one I use is Popple. Uh, Popple. Yeah, yep. and the reason uh, being is because I have put it in the comments so they, you know, that's it's becoming more popular. Yeah. So what I have on the, on my phone for those you can see it is see that little circle here. They're branded for us. So this is the NFC. So if I and I'm showing it on Insta too. So that's so the NFC. NFC is near field communication. Near field communication. So if J Man has his NFC on, I can go tap the back of his phone and he automatically gets my me and for uh, my information. I also have the Popple card which has it built into it, but also has a QR code on the back. So if you don't have NFC, I flip it over and say, hey, listen, just take a picture of that. You'll get all my information. It, it's a P-O-P-L. I think it's yeah. P-O-P-L. Google, I'm pretty sure it's P-O-P-L. Yeah. So that, that, that's Hi, what hello. I personally Hi, hello use. is a good one too, but they, they, 
they brand themselves in the links that they give you, which I don't like that. So the other... I um, say okay. goodbye. You say hi, so, hello. Yeah, it's, P- it's P-O-P-L. So what I also like about it, it's also an app on my phone. Um, again, I don't like handing out business cards. And the only time I ever really do this is literally when, um, like if I'm at a conference or something like that. So I'm actually trying to show. So what I do like about the Papa one, it also has a lead capture feature. So if J-Man pops, if I pop the J-Man, I have that on, it'll say, pop, do you want to connect pop, with Jeff pop, pop, and popsicle. enter your information? So if he enters his information, it automatically gets sent over to me. Hmm. So this what is, I actually like about it is if you see, I don't know if you can see that. QR code? The QR code is, oh, no. Yeah, your colors. brand colors are green-ish. It's, it's, it's branded. Yeah, it's branded in there. Um, so there's a lot of different ways. So it's not just an FC. I can use a QR code. I, I don't like handing out business cards. Yeah. I, I don't. I haven't handed out business cards in So years. what I've learned with all of this technology being, the you know, providing better service to the mastery of it is – You always have to have a backup because it's not what I like. It's what the consumer or whoever your customer or client is, depending on the industry. And so that's why I have these. And it also has a QR code on the back. If you wanted to scan that, you can get all, you get my link tree and all my information, including a virtual card. But if somebody is that kinesthetic, right? They like to Mm -hmm. touch things. You grab my card. This is a hard plastic and the every mm-hmm. and, and these are they're like ten cents a card because I couldn't find them in the U.S. I had to source it somewhere in Asia. It was expensive, but it's worth it. I'm almost like it's almost like are you are you card worthy? But <laughs> for ten cents, you grab it and you go, "Wow, nice card." That's the impression I'm going for. <clears throat> I don't care if you throw it away after that. That was the, part, the impression that, of it. We gonna go back to that's part of his brand. That's part of his brand. So I'll give everybody some some words to actually use. And again, I don't even have any of my old business cards laying around. This is generally what I would do. Did you just get a fresh fade? Yes. Looks good. Thank you. This is um, you throw me off. This is what I would See? do. He I would take out my business card, and this would be my dialogue. And you may want to write this down, Mr. Smith. I could give you my business card, but wouldn't it be easier just to store my number in your phone? That way, if you have a question about real estate, you can just give me a call. And you take out your business card. And they say, actually, you know what? Just give me your business card. Those are those kinesthetic people. They're going to take your business card from you. Those are those kinesthetic people. So if you're going to use to me is, hey, you know, Mr. Smith, I could give you my business card, but wouldn't it be easier just to take out your phone and store my number that way if you have a question? Oh, yeah, absolutely. You know what? Just scan the QR code. Here you go. You have all my information. So there's a way to approach it both ways, but my brand is never, I said his hair was on point. My brand is, my beard's looking pretty fresh too. My, oh my God, don't don't get carried away. You you know, maybe just for men this a little, just, you know, a little too much salt in the pepper there. I don't want you to look younger <laughs> than you are. I don't, it makes no difference to me whatsoever. I don't, I can go Oh, gray, what I, I think gold. about you is none of your business? Absolutely, there you go. You learned something from me, J-Man. So there, there's a way, and is it part of your brand? Like that, that's, that really is to determine, as you started this with a whole branding, is, is that part of your brand? To me, like my, my, I don't even have any here in front of me, so not at my office. My element business cards are thick, huge card stock, textured, because we're a luxury brand. So it's going to be a thicker card stock. It's going to be a textured. It's like a linen type thing. It has the correct colors, um, you know, and it's our silverish because executives get the silver cards. Isn't but, the card transform into like a, a white glove? Yes, service. <laughs> that would be awesome. Yo, know, you guys, you know, you have to source it for me. Just say that I that was my idea. Just, but idea. this is also part of your brand. Like I see people, they get their new logo, they get whatever, they get their business cards, and you pick up the business card, and it's and it like disintegrates in your hand. Floppy. <laughs> if you hand me, I'm trying to look for something here. I actually don't even I have. have. If I, you too. hand me a business card that does this, when you hand it to me, like you hand it to me and it does this. Yeah, if it, it's like a wet noodle, and it's like like the, oh, If you homie. printed your business cards from your home computer, like with the tear off size, you could see the with the tear off size. Yeah, is that the brand you want to be? To me, I don't think anybody should be that brand. I, I don't. I, I don't think anybody wants their brand to say that, hey, 
I cut Moo. corners. Oh yeah, I've I've used Moo actually. Um, so Marianne, we're gonna put this up for you. Uh, Moo is a great company. You usually find them at at the conventions and and that. But oh my, yeah yeah yeah, my uh, speaker agent Lisa Betts, she got us and they were just square, like it's probably one inch by one, like really kind of s- small, the square, mm-hmm. one and a half by one and a half by one and a half maybe by one and a half. That's square, and but it was like that suede texture to it. Oh man, it was so it was so nice. It was yeah, it was our, smooth. Our old listing presentation books used to have it was that it was that yeah you're right it's almost like a suede or a leatherish feel. Oh, I think it's like suede feel or something thick. But again, what do you want? Going back to this, what do you want your brand to be? Do you want your brand to be a three ring binder that you bought at Staples, or do you want your brand to be something more than that? And listen, there's nothing wrong with being a three ring three ring binder staple bird there isn't right but i you know i think i always strongly believe it's like how you do anything is how you do everything and so yep. when you hit like this the mind the minutia the smallest thing if i spent five hundred dollars on a thousand cards because i care about this little thing that much mm-hmm. imagine now every part of that transaction or our interaction what that's going to be like like I, that, that's yeah, yeah. Don't don't that way. don't tell me you're gonna provide white glove service and hand me a business card that I get a paper cut from. That's like the best way to put it. <laughs> Ow! And then give me hand sanitizer. To... <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah. Ah, like, dang, it and hurts. these are all the thoughts that have to go into. I want to brand myself. It's not just oh, this is my logo, and I'm calling myself. You know. The Stanton team, the Jeffrey Scott Stanton team at Douglas Element or whatever it happens to be is what else am I putting into this? What are my business cards going to look like? What do you mean the texture? Am I going to spend, you know, I can get online, get business cards for $29 for $500 or am I going to spend $150 for $500? You know, am I going to use, when I print out my flyers, am I going to use paper that does this or am I going to use a more of a card stock? Like all that has to go into how you're presenting yourself as your brand. Listen, and this is the thing. Your brand doesn't have to be suit and tie. It doesn't. For those of you who know me, listen, when I, when I, when we were full time in a classroom, like when, when, before we, everything went virtual, I was suit and tie every single day. Cause honestly, suit and tie is just easier for me to get dressed. I grab a suit. I grab a white shirt, grab the tie. Boom. Done. Jamin at the conferences. What do you see me wearing? I'm wearing the brand. I'm wearing element t-shirt. Yeah. I'm usually wearing dark jeans, not ripped up jeans, dark jeans, shoes, and a blazer. Because yeah. that's and I'm the suit, Elman suit brand. And t-shirt. I'm suit and t-shirt. Yeah, he's because that's our brands. I, listen, I'm going to a conference. I'm going to a conference on uh, Sunday to like Tuesday or something for in in Dallas, and these are all SVP and above executives for for a whole bunch of different companies learning and development. You want to show tie? I'm not wearing a tie, but I'm wearing a shirt, slacks, and a jacket. Because well, you, know, you know what was? Hold on, let me say this because I like interrupting yeah. you. Um, I'm sorry, because it, it throws you off. But you're very good at pausing and then coming back to your idea. But I think it was two podcasts ago. Or you wore a jacket with a shirted collar, and I was like, "Dude, what are you? Why are you wearing a shirt collar?" And you're like, "What do you mean? I wear a shirt collar all the time." I'm like, no, you don't. I do no, the a lot editing of for here, videos. I, w- I know yeah. you don't. And it, it was like when you're used to seeing somebody a certain way, that's their brand, right? Like with, if somebody sees me at my state meetings and I have a shirt and tie on, they're like, that's weird. It's just I wear, weird because I know you from when a certain I'm way. In the office, when I'm in the office, I am at a minimum in a college shirt and a jacket when I'm in the office. Generally, now I don't wear a tie because the floor that I'm on, they generally don't wear ties. I'm on the executive floor at 575, and they generally don't wear ties on, on that floor. So, you know, I don't wear a tie now at the office. But I'm generally in, you know, button front shirt. And the same thing, I'm going to this conference. It's a a fusion is what they call it. I'm going to this fusion on the week, over the weekend or on Sunday. It's now I'm wearing, I have slacks. I'll have, I know, I told you it looks cool. Slacks, I'll have, you know, a button front shirt and a jacket. Because it's a different, it's a different atmosphere that I need to present differently there. But 
but it's part of, part of my brand is listen, I can be in suit and tie or I can be in jeans, a jacket and, you know, an element swag t-shirt, but you have to put all that into account and be consistent. Like, yeah. Like what's your logo going to look like on a t-shirt or on a polo shirt? Can your logo even be stitched into a t-shirt or a polo shirt? And what, yeah, and if you like to wear darker colors, what is going to look like on the dark colors? Because that's, then it has to be changed. That's a whole, yeah. Yep. I met Carrie uh, from Michigan. She had pink pants mm -hmm. on. I was like, yeah, pink pants. <laughs> There's no fear. I like that. You know, because she's making a statement, right? I mean, it's just like, like, and, and I am one that's like, I don't give a shit. I don't care what people, just like you said, I don't care what people think. I'm going to wear what I want to wear, what brings me joy, how I feel in that moment. And when people go, who's this guy with his fur coat? I'm like, thank you. I love you too, baby. He just does you it know, for attention. He does it be. for attention. He just does uh, it for attention. But that's part sometimes. of his brand. No, it is. Setting yourself it apart. Is. Yeah. That it's part of his brand that I could totally respect for it, even though how ridiculous he may look in that. You know, is it a people, real fur? You need people like throw... me because you don't got the guts to be who you want to be. Uh, is it yeah, real, it's fur? real fur? Yeah. Someone's gonna someone's gonna throw a red paint on you one of these days. I've been waiting for that. I'll still wear it with pride with red paint. I'm like, that's right. I'm gonna do it next next time we're someplace. Do it. I'm going to I go dare you, to you. I'm a... like, dude, I'll take that paint and I'll rub it on your leather shoes and your leather belt that are also made from animals. Oh yeah, I'm no, I'm not doing it because I believe in anything. I'm just doing it because I think it would be funny. Oh great. Now we got Greg. <laughs> Greg will definitely do it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, oh great. Greg. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Absolutely. Like, surprise! Like, surprise! I don't know if I don't want to like, like a bucket of paint, but if you wanted to. But here's here's the other thing. Um, I'm willing to uh, repurpose your fur him. coats. If you guys are, uh, you know, if you have a fur coat and you're not wearing it, bring it to me. I love you to just... wear it. What? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> I'm just picturing one of the women on here is sending you like not even a long one, you know, the short jacket fur I, coats, I, and you wearing like. Bro, I got like, pictures this, already. Look, I'm gonna bring the, one up. The crop top fur jacket. <laughs> I watch this. You can laugh your ass off. I got one oh, I've from seen... a Queens Queens event that I did. You want... Oh, he's looking for the photo to put it up. Go ahead. Continue. So, anybody have any questions on, on as we're sitting here? Anyone have branding. any questions on um, on branding? Anyone have any questions on branding? I like fur collars on winter jackets. Yeah, absolutely. That's all you have seen that before. All you have seen that before. Yep. That's a crop top. Lisa, Lisa, Lisa B. She's from Queens. I, you know, and here's, here's, I'll tell you but my again, mentality. His brand. Right. But a part of it is like, <clears throat> go ahead. J Man's brand as a speaker and as a presenter is he's a little out there. Correct. Th and that's part of his brand. And he, like, yeah. listen. And I, I can it. say that because we've known each other a long time. We're friends. I can say that because I know that's part of his brand. He's a little out there in general. Right. Like, and you've accepted that. Like people who are my friends have just accepted it. And you yeah, take you like, as you are. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. But that's, of course that's part of his brand. Part. Now, listen, if J-Man didn't do what he did for a living and J-Man was going on a listing presentation in Rochester and he wore that coat, might be a little bit different. <laughs> Right, but if I wore it like uh, in the city, maybe I could get away with it on the right listing. <laughs> that's why they use the city. That's why they right. use the city. He said it right. <laughs> and, and that's Does where it's like know your audience because I may not wear that. I wore that at Triple Play, the tri state area, where some people would be like, damn, that jacket's fire, son. But if I was, mm -hmm. you know, I don't want to give a certain part of the country because then they're going to beat me up when I go there. But if I was in another <laughs> part of the country, they, they may be like, who's this guy? Just and this, it's very different. And and this is the whole point of, of, of knowing your audience for us as presenters and instructors and knowing your clients and your customers as a real estate agent. It's the same thing. I'll give you a quick example. I was teaching a class on negotiations way out in, way out in Pennsylvania. And we were talking about, hey, like what's the experience you give your clients? So this gentleman, I'll tell you, like we take you on a journey down the bridal path and over the rocks, you can drink the fresh water and he's going through the whole thing. And I'm like, 
I knew he was talking about horses. Like I, I understood that, but I didn't get the whole analogy. And everybody's like, yeah, yeah. The, the, and I'm like, I understand you're speaking to a New Yorker. I understand Barter Path, I understand horses, but you went way too far. So if I was your audience and you're telling me, hey, I'm going to take you down the bridal path and I'm going to do X, Y, and Z and take it by the reins, I'm like, I'm your customer. I don't, it doesn't make sense to me. So you're branding your, <laughs> your branding, your has to go with more than anything else to how you want to be perceived by the consumer. And if you, if you use your analogy of, you know, taking a horse by the reins in New York City, it may not work. It's probably not. New York work. City. <laughs> I always think of that. It's like that salsa commercial or something. They're like, where is it made? New York, New oh, York City. Yeah. That's an old, I think that's an old commercial. Um, Carrie, if you have many fur coats, I mean, you know, nothing says thank you like a fur coat to a speaker. <laughs> He normally gets me for the shameless plug. Is now he's like shameless begging for fur coats. No, you know why? Because there's here's why. I got the fur coat for my mom. I told you that already. Many people already know that. My mom wanted me to find a place to donate. I'm like, mom, why would you do that? I think the first time I wore it was to uh, to a Bills game, and they were like, oh, and, and here's here's I'm gonna give you the the well, behind was, the scenes. Hold real on, real quick. Be who was there? Was there was that famous football player that always wore a fur coat on the sidelines? Joe Namath. Joe Namath. Okay. I Joe Namath. Yeah, I can think. Joe right? Namath. I remember he got in trouble. He was like wasted and he hit on the, on the, like the reporter, the female yeah. reporter. He's like, I think I want to marry you or something like that. <laughs> but here's the behind the scenes. Before I wore it the first time, it's almost like when you, anything you do, anything new. And this is where I want you guys to embrace. Like if you really, cause some of you aren't wearing what you want to wear because you're scared. And before I wore it the first time, I was like, damn, I don't know what kind of reaction I'm going to get. I was not, let me be honest, right? And I'm like, but then it, it's that fight or flight kicked in. And I'm like, man, F that. Let's go. And mm -hmm. I went and I embraced it and I, I got a positive response. I mean, we're talking about Bills fans, which can be, you're either going to... You're either gonna swim or really sink. <laughs> like, yeah, that's they like could Philly beat fans. Me and take, yeah, they're like Philly, yeah, man. But they were like, oh shoot, Joe Namath. And that's where I was getting a lot of that. Joe Namath, look yeah. at it, okay, for a coat. And so I was like, after that, I was like, that gave me enough um, confidence to be who I want to be. It's just and, and, and it's jumping into the pool. It's like I'm just gonna jump in. If that's you put it. one toe at a time and, and like, oh, ooh, it's cold every single time. Just jump in, get your head, get your shoulder. My mother used to tell me, once your shoulders underneath the water, you'll be fine. And when so you realize, do you, you jump in, in or do you, do you wade into the water? Depends how cold the water actually is. <laughs> oh, see? And, and put this in the comments. Most of the times I'll jump in. Put this in the comments. Most of the times I'll jump in. If you're in the pool or the ocean or the lake or the beach or the pond or whatever it is. Oh, ocean, I'm straight in. Ocean, I'm walking running. straight into it. Oh, see? Yeah, going I, straight into it. I have to run in and then do the dive once I get deep enough yep. because I, I don't like to. I'm not this guy that's... <laughs> no, I don't like that. O ocean, I'm straight into it, you know. In a pool, depends upon the pool, you know, tone of the water. Eh, it's a little cold. But again, once you just jump in, get your shoulders wet, that's it. My mother used to always say to me, once your shoulders underneath the water, you'll be fine. You get your I'm like, oh, wow, it actually isn't that cold. The strange conversations we have on this podcast. It really is. <laughs> it's much to say about nothing. It really is the best name for a show. Yeah. Indubitably... Oh, look at she. Uh, so Carrie gets her first. I got a hundred dollars in my. Is it a hundred dollars in my pocket? I'm on to come up. This is a thing. Awesome. Macklemore, bro. Yeah. It's the whole. The whole thing is about he gets the rocks a fur coat, and it's that's how the video is. He's yeah, like I know. His. I can't. I'm trying to think of the words. That's the other uh, triple play that kept. I kept getting Macklemore. Macklemore. I'm like, okay, they could bro. call you worse things. Yeah. Could not call me. That's worse. <laughs> Pace Picante. That's what it was. That that's what it was. Yep. Thank you, Tracy. Tracy. So I don't say any more. Uh, from we have time Wisconsin. here. I mean, she must be sad about Green Bay, just like I'm sad about the Bills. Sorry for Aaron Rodgers, but I heard he's kind of a jerk, anyways. I heard that about you until I got to know you. I thought that about you. 
<laughs> well, I am a jerk. <laughs> it's a jerk. He's a jerk. I'm going to pop some tags. That's right. That's right. Uh... Anything else you guys want to talk about? We should wrap up soon. I got to do a podcast with some folks at 2 o'clock. I'm a yeah. guest, which is great. So I don't have to start my software or do anything. I'm just going to click a link and then yeah. talk. I could do that. I, I got nothing else. Anybody on Instagram got anything? You know, here was, here was my backup topic. Um, next time, let's talk about real estate investing for real estate agents. Okay. I think I think that that'll that'll be a good one. Like uh, you got to always be ready to pull the trigger because if you're in real estate, and don't believe in real estate investing. How can you transfer that enthusiasm to somebody else? I'm doing that. Let's not talk about it. Oh, uh, Wisconsin Green Bay Packers. Oh, okay. Sore subject. Have a great day, everyone. Let's not talk Wait, about it. Wait, oh, okay. what? Do you, uh, you got a freestyle today. Jeremiah's J Man Monero, J Man Speaks. Make it a great day. Make it a great day. Peace and love.